like that. And all we're going to do is I'm going to go all the way around both of them uh, and then put the final one. It's a 3M, very high bonding tape, pretty much exactly the same thing. Um, 19 mil, three meters of it, it's about 10 or something. My, my opening in the window. Hey guys, follow my journey as I drag my beautiful old cat kicking and screaming into the 21st century. Uh, a lot of the jobs I'm doing, completely first time, I'm a complete novice, learning as I go, and hopefully some of you guys can learn from some of my mistakes. Some of it's worked really well, and some of it is absolute sheer craziness, but somehow I've still managed to put it off. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to uh, follow my progress. Hey guys, doing this video is a straight follow on from the previous preparation. I've done various videos on installing the windows on Foxy Lady and the way you can do it in any boat really. But I've sort of skipped over quite a lot. So this way I've tried to capture as much footage as I can so you can see how I've done it and hopefully help you if you want to do a similar sort of thing. So I'll go straight into a sort of fast forwarded uh, music on me painting on the primer. So the previous video, I've, I've prepped it all up with uh, masking tape. And now I'm applying the primer and then from there, the rest of the process. Okay guys, this is the stuff I use on the fiberglass Seeker 206 GMP. And I apply it with one of these. And I've got another primer that goes on the uh, acrylic. So I'm going to have a bit of music over the top because I've got tunes on in the background. And I'll show you a little bit of uh, how I apply it. Uh, 120. Uh, there's no fine art involved. Obviously, the protective film is protecting the bit that's going to be uh, your see through bit. And this shiny bit of plastic basically, you just want to mat it up so it gives the primer a good key. So, there's no magic to it. Like that. And all we're going to do is I'm going to go all the way around both of them uh, and then put the primer on. I'll show you the primer when I get there so I'm not going to film me sanding all the way around, it's going to take a while but um, I'll show you when I'm there and I'll show you the uh, the cleaner that I use, I'll show you it now actually. 
got it here behind me. So this is the my plastic primer. So it's 209N I use for priming acrylics. And I've got this Seeker Activator 205. It's quite good for giving it wipe over prior to painting. It's uh, it says activator, but yeah, bonding surface surface activating agent. So it gets it ready to uh, receive, basically. So I'm giving it its primary receive area. That will give it an uber receive area, and that primer's on, and it will be the strongest primer on earth, ready for my um, fixing once I've done everything else. But <laughs> I'll speak to you when this is done. Okay. That's sanded down. Hopefully you can see that's all uh, nice and rough. So I'm going to wet my blue roll for a bit of activator. It doesn't smell like thinners, but it sort of acts a bit like a thinners. One. Put this one out of the way. Two. Let's give it another fresh bit of uh, activator. I think I'm running short of it. It's a funny story with the activator. I ordered it on eBay or maybe. Um, and I couldn't just get one bottle, I had to get four bottles and this uh, <laughs> uh big old bottles so if you need some and you're not a million miles away let me know okay so they're prepped up bang bang i'm a bit torn now whether to measure out mark and cut my incision or we have to get the primer on so i get the primer on now that'll give it time to dry more time to dry before i go to town so i'm thinking i might prime it and then that'll give me time to work out exactly how much reveal i want around um exactly exactly how i'm going to do it so yeah, I'm gonna put. I've talked myself into it. I'm gonna prime it, and that'll give me a few minutes breathing space before I mark out and then cut the, the opening. It's gonna be there forever. All right, so I'll get, <laughs> I'll get on with that. Uh, to prime it is exactly the same. Exactly the same. I use one of them little um, little bud things with the other primer to go round and just black it out basically. Get a nice thick coat everywhere. What I'm going to do though is find something to put it on so I'm not flicking black all over my nice white cockpit. So I should do that and I'll, uh, I should tune in when I'm back to measuring out and working out what I'm going to do for an opening. So that was quite interesting. I would say the primer was turning but it had well and truly turned so I pretty much it's like paste putting it on. <laughs> I'd rather put it on than, than not. So uh, as it's on quite thick, I'm going to have to give that a little while to, to dry off before I start messing around. Uh, let me turn this down a moment. Yes, yeah, so I think I mentioned before the tape I used to buy, uh, which is down here somewhere, and I just get it from Screwfix, the Scotch Outdoor 3M old type bouncing tape, blah blah blah. It just seems to vanish off the face of the earth. I don't know what's wrong with it. Hopefully it's not been failing, but it just don't exist. So I've bought this on Amazon. It's a 3M, very high bonding tape. It's pretty much exactly the same thing. Um, 19 mil, three meters of it, about 10 or something. Um, yeah, super strong. It's, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna use that. And then what I've used before, no, not 291, that's something else. A 295 UV. That's the uh, the stuff I use 
that goes next to my ultra bonding tape. So the bonding tape is the initial fix while this is setting and then then this is fixing it and sealing it and everything else. And because it's UV, it doesn't break down in the sun, which is maze balls. I just want to show you quick something quickly in here. So let me just right down. Obviously when I redesigned the galley, the sink never used to be here. I can't actually remember where it was. I think it was maybe over there. But where I've put the sink now, it was above the opening window. So generally when I'm cooking on my little hot plate thing, I'm doing it here. So it was steam was going up the window, up around here and obviously into the boat. So I'd like the opening to be this side above where I'm cooking. So this is where I'm going to, I'm probably going to have, because what I'm going to do, if I haven't explained it already, I haven't got the bits, I'm going to get some flocked, I think flocked is the word, U-channel to sit top and bottom and it's going to screw into there. A piece of plastic top to bottom will fit in there with a shaped front on it so it goes shump. But I'm going to have about an inch reveal here running around and that'll be the opening there and then the other the piece will slide open and slide shut up against here and around the opening I'm going to have a sort of again a sort of a, a, a seal around it with a flocked back which gives that nice weather tight seal when it pushes against it. Also what I'm going to have to do is where the U channel is going to sit here because there's potential of water collecting in there I'm going to, where, once the U channel's on I'll literally drill straight down and through through the plastic on the outside a drain front and back so any moisture that gets into that U channel can drain out not in and I think that's about it so I've got the old cutout still from here. So I'm going to use that as a template that I've got some off cuts back in uh, back in Bogner, which I'll have to go and get at some point, maybe tomorrow. Um, and then I'll use that to make a sort of a big sliding piece, which can then be trimmed down, shaved, whatever to suit the U channels that are going here. I'll get a nice, a nice slidey finish on it. Then work out what we're going to do for a handle that's another thing that I haven't really considered but some sort of handle to open and close it and yeah that's about it really I'll have some sort of simple locking mechanism I'm not sure what yet but I'll put some sort of locking mechanism on it and that should do me as an opening window I still haven't had a response back from sending the ones I've bought on eBay yet it's 250 pounds worth so if I don't get a response soon, I'll have to just list them up for sale somewhere for a couple hundred quid. Hopefully someone takes them off my hands. But yeah, that's the plan. So once that's gone off, I'm going to measure, i was say an inch, maybe 20 millimetres, I'll probably go an inch. An inch in, uh, measure it around in like a nice D shape, and I'll just cut that out. And hope for the best. <laughs> and then... When I stick them in, obviously I'm going to have that D-shape cut-out opening. What I'll probably do is the piece that I cut out, I'll tape it in place just to keep the weather out um, until I get a chance to do the rest of it. I still haven't ordered the flock to you channels or done anything. I just want to get these windows in to get the weather out. Um, takes the pressure off a little bit. And I say I'd absolutely love to get that side done as well but time is not my 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 friend at the minute but I'll see what I can do I'll see what I can do because that so just, oh, this video is going on for a little while the back window there that's in the loo in the heads that leaks like a good one so whenever it rains you know it pours in the heads um, which doesn't help with the smell having having it wet in there all the time so I need to get that dry. I need to get the vent working in there and then start looking at cladding it and making it all pretty in there. But it's not nice at the minute, it's really not. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna 
chill out for a minute, have a bit of a tidy up, have a little scoot around and uh, then start marking up and cutting. So I'll tune back in when I get there. Hey guys, all right, play for me. Here's my cutout. So I haven't got my combi with me, I've got my impact. So two of these in a row that allow me to get my jigsaw in there. Very, very carefully cut that shape out. I should, uh, I should drill these holes because I need to concentrate on that. And when I get the jigsaw going, I'll try and get the, uh, the GoPro somewhere where you can see me make, make the cut. No promises, but I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. Hey guys, there's my my opening in the window, and this is why I haven't painted this yet, because <laughs> this thing gets cut more than a than a black and decker work, mate. So when I finish doing all my my works, this will be one of the last things to get repaired and painted. I'm going to clean up all the human plastic again now before it ends up in the water. But I'm going to quickly brush these down leave them out of the way for the primer to dry and then I'm starting with a clean up ready to uh, get these taped up and ready to fix in and I may fix this off cut back in there so I tape both sides just temporarily just keep the weather out until I get round to uh, making an opening but <sighs> see you in a minute Okay, so my old high bonding tape, or very high bonding tape, we've got to call it, is all the way around. You know, it's now special. It's not like I've butted right up in places, but that's not going to do any sort of leak prevention. The seeker's going to do that. This is purely adhesive. You know, I could spend ages cutting it all nicely, but it's not for that, so I haven't. So I'm going to peel the back off of this now. I've spread it down really hard, not with rollers on it with thumb. Um, I'm going to peel the back off, get my 295 in a, in, a, in, a, in a gun, put a nice bead around there and then I'll tune back in when I get to that stage and I shall try and film it with the tape off, the seeker on and I shall try my bestest to get on camera me putting it on, obviously it's very tight around there, it's windy, I'm going to be covered in seeker, it's a very stressful time. But I'll just do my best to uh, to capture it on GoPro. Okay, so I've peeled the back of the tape off of both of them. So I'm gonna run a bead of seeker uh, all the way around the outside. I'm gonna go around and stick it on so I'll capture this one. It's moving around in the wind. Let's try and get a nice uh, steady bead.
build up any little low bits. And the beauty is that the splooge is out is either caught on the protective film or on the tape that's on the still on the, the coach roof. This isn't it because once it's stuck on I'll give it a little while to make its bond and then I'll go round I'll show I'll show you when we get there. I'm just gonna put some seat on this one and then we go do some fitting. Okay, this is quite possibly the most stressful thing ever because if I get it wrong, there's no going back and it's, <laughs> it's like starting again. Got too much. I was very lucky there. Eh? I realised it was a bit too high up and I hadn't pressed, pressed enough that it was on there which was good very lucky You'd think I'd go inside and look before doing this, but if it's wrong now, there's nothing I can do. I've just got to commit. That's one. Get the other one on. I'll get the right height and the right distance in. Too high. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking up over here. Oh, I'm probably a little far over, but I'm on. Let's do a quick visual. Make sure there's nothing too screwed with. From a distance, it looks alright. Splinter one. <sighs> As I'm going around, I can't hold the GoPro to show you, I'm afraid. I'm compressing the tape and forcing the seeker out. Not out, but forcing the seeker around sorry <laughs> I've got some editing to do guys Knocking you over. 
working this tape. Working the seeker. Rubbed through my glove. I'll lose them. Right, so I've just splooshed it down nice and tight. So it started to squish some of the seeker out in places. Now, looking down here, obviously there's still quite a void. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go inside. I'll show you inside as well. Make sure I've made no huge mistakes. Not that, if I have, there's nothing I can do about it now. But we'll see what it looks like inside. Um, and then I'll come back out, fresh gloves on, peel off all this tape. Right, I'll run a finger around it first. Peel all this tape off. Um, and what I'll do is I'll re-tape about three to five millimeters out all the way around. Then I can run a beader seeker all the way around and give it a nice smooth, I say a nice smooth, I'm not very good at it, you can see here. <laughs> Bits like that would be, um, this is why I haven't painted it this time. Before I've painted it, then done it and made a mess. This this time, I've left it unpainted, because I'll cover the windows up, or I'll leave this on, do my paintwork, and then <laughs> then I can cut my lines for the, uh, for the seeker. But, I'm gonna stop chatting rubbish, let's go and have a look inside, shall we? Hey guys, first look, doesn't look too bad to be honest with you. It's safe for me now to peel off the inside. I can't really that side. I can, I can take half of it off, but I'll be strict to myself by taping down the, uh, the closable bit, but I shall pull it back and slip it, just so we can see how well or not I've done it. My track record isn't great, I'm not gonna lie. How they say, uh, practice makes perfect. Okay, section, she isn't, you know, you've got a bit of black up here, a little bit down here, I've probably gone a little bit high, but when you're looking at it from this level, it's alright, when you look at it from where you've got a bit of a gap, uh, Sam did say to me before, if, if, you know, if it bothered me, we could get a little bit of sealant and go round, but it's fine, it's absolutely fine, it's quite visible at the minute, when the outside is off you won't see it because it's black <laughs> um i'm a bit scared about this side not gonna lie about pulling it off about pulling it all off but let's have a look let's do it shall we you can do it with me Sorry guys, I'm going to back challenge you. Just trying to... It's a bit of a pig to get hold of it. Come on. Got it started. I just can't get it to uh, get a good purchase. Anyway, here you go.
I've got a bit of an offer cut in here. Bit of a missed cut bit there. stay there as a reminder that it needs doing because <laughs> that'll bug me now that I can't see through there that'll be my reminder that yeah my little kick up the bum to get on with it so I'm now going to get the, the tape off outside I'm, I'm not going to film doing that I'll get the tape off outside uh, I'll re-tape it and I'll, tr I'll if I remember I'll get, get the GoPro and I'll just film putting that last little bead around um, yeah let it give it a little while, let it, let it get a kick, not go off, just let it like kick a little bit, give it like half an hour, whatever. Peel the tape off and uh, jobs of fish. Hey guys, so I've got my three to five mil gap all the way around. Got my gun there. So all I'm going to do is give it a nice healthy squirt of seeker all the way around. Um, I can make his mess, you know, on here, on here, it doesn't matter because it's all going to get peeled off. I'll, tune, I'll, I'll give you a little bit and I'll uh, put some music over top and speed it up or something, but here we go. job where it gets a little bit hard. I force it into where I need it rather than falling down. A bit of wasted here on the bottom, but it's what it is. Okay. That's one gone round. I'm going to do the other one while I've still got clean hands, and then I'll get messy wiping it all down. There you go, guys. Now, I wouldn't say perfect, but that is about as good as my uh, silicon finishing goes, or seeker finishing. You won't really see the lines properly until I get the tape off, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give it a little while to kick, 
then I'll uh, put about 17 pairs of gloves on. <laughs> come, come get all that tape off. I'll reveal this one. I'll take the cover off of here, and I'll probably do half of this one. And I say again, I'll just leave all this here as a reminder that I need to pull my finger out and get it done. But I shall tune back in in a well for me about 15 20 minutes for you in about a split second to get this tape off and get this one off. Sorry, guys, I didn't give you the satisfaction of uh, me tearing it off, but it's not looking too shabby again. This is the, the unfinished corner, but the, the waterproofing. Come back. Ah, it's not quite straight, you know. The back two are straight. This one sits, seems to sit a little bit high. Ah, that's a shame. No, it wasn't my intent whatsoever. But it is what it is. Worst case. What I might do if it really bugs me, I don't think it will. Once this point bits off, I don't think you'll notice, but if it does really bug me, I might do like the old fast forward stun. I'll have black paint surrounding the windows <laughs> so I'll make it all blend in if it bugs me that much. I think by the time I've got rid of the, the high bits here, it looks like it's higher than it actually is. Um, I think it'll be alright. But if from a distance, i.e. from the other side of the river there, if I can notice it, then it's probably going to get painted. But, um, I'll turn you around. Whoa. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to have a shower now and sort my life out and go and have a drink. And then very soon, we'll look at installing a sliding window from scratch. All right, be sure of it. Cheers for watching. Hey guys, you can see where I've set it too low, the black line that's up here. You know, I might try and clean that up, I might get away with cleaning that off, but... It's not the end of the world, it's not great, but it's not the end of the world. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. But, they're in. Really happy with that. Just that bit to go. <laughs> Again, thanks for watching. Uh, please hit the like, it helps my algorithm and all that stuff and down below you, you can join my channel um, then you get extra bits and pieces also down below you see my patreon um, big thank you to my my one patreon blue dog Oz. always more welcome really really welcome um, I see me and blue dog Oz, we chat via whatsapp you know you get up to date on fox lady if he wants to um, but yeah, come and join in with that. So, you know, it's a, it's a great way to uh, to help me out. And also, if you don't want to do that sort of thing, buy me a coffee down below. Always massively appreciated. My email is down below for PayPal. Uh, what else is on there? If you want to buy a Fox Lady T-shirt, not that I'm wearing one, but they're on there as well. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. And hopefully this has helped some of you that have been a little bit dubious about replacing old windows nothing to be scared of just takes a little bit of preparation a little bit of uh confidence to uh just get on with it and if it goes wrong that like mine's gone a little bit wrong with this so what it doesn't leak they look great if you look through that <laughs> and uh if and when i get a chance i will give that a clean up but it's not it's not bothering me She's going to look awesome when she's done. Thanks for watching, guys. Speak to you in a bit.